Hello, my name is Chris Amber from New Experience Workshop, and I'd like to tell you about On Their Merry Way, a game in which you take control of one of the bands of Robin Hood's Merry Men trying to steal from the rich and avoid the poor. This game includes elements of resource management, area control, and some light programming as well, but it's actually not that complicated. I'd like to share with you some of the more interesting systems in play with this game that we've made here. The first thing that's interesting about On Their Merry Way is the resource phase. Each turn, players will choose one of their three resource cards and play it, which allow them to take resources three times in turn order during that phase. As players take resources from the shared pool, they dwindle down to the point in which there could potentially be less resources than a player's ability to take them, in which case they cannot take that resource and must take one of the other two or draw cards from the deck. The second interesting thing comes in play after the resource phase, once players have collected their resources and traded amongst themselves. Players then build their traps alongside the road using this tableau up here as a guideline. Every merchant is flanked by two cards, which in the upright position show from left to right what their vices are. This is a dim-witted merchant who is also wicked, meaning that he will fall for any trap set for dim-witted merchants and then fall for any trap set for wicked merchants. This takes place in the next phase in which the merchant would travel along the path. He would branch from the path for a dim-witted trap, continue to branch for a wicked trap, and then move back to the path to work soap in the most immediate and efficient route possible. The two traps that he visited will pay off profit for the play. After each merchant has taken their turn traveling the trail, these merchants will be moved to the head of the next trail for the next round, representing new merchants traveling each path. This tableau will also be changed so that the vices that were on the bottom of the cards are now flipped up, meaning that for the previous turn, you can see what's ahead and try and plan strategically for what's going to come afterwards. After this round, new cards will be drawn from the deck and replace these vices so you're not always sure what's going to be next. Not all vice cards actually have vices on them. For example, here is a peasant. This affects the red and yellow merchant since it's next to both of those cards. It means that this turn, these aren't actually merchants, they're peasants. And when they travel to traps, they will take money from the merry men instead of giving them money. They behave the same way as merchants on the trail. For example, this red peasant is a greedy peasant, so he will move towards greedy traps, while this yellow peasant is a wicked peasant, so he will fall for traps for the wicked. I hope that these, this insight in the most interesting aspects of On Their Merry Way has shown you that it is a fun, satisfying, and engaging game to play. I hope you look forward to giving it a shot if it makes it to the finals, and I thank you for watching our video. This has been On Their Merry Way from New Experience Workshop. There was traps. I have to go back.